motherfuckers. Why did you sit in the front? <laughs> Seriously, I told you not to. Hi guys, how's it going? So I'm from Puerto Rico, and um, I grew up with evangelical grandparents and a mom who was a closeted hoe. She not only cheated on my dad once, not twice, 47 times, <laughs> but who's counting anyways? <laughs> my grandpa would tell me, like, you have to act in godly ways so you can go to heaven. So he would go up to me, mijita, no puedes escuchar reggaeton, no puedes ver telenovelas, and you cannot be related to your mother. I know that I knew that something was up um, with her, but I really could not put a pin on it. Um, I actually found out that she was cheating on my dad when I was 25 years old, which was yesterday. <laughs> and I was like, bitch, I knew it. <laughs> Growing up, um, I would find like condoms in like her drawers and I would fill it up like water balloons. It was very slippery. Um, and I would throw it to my, my brother and like just play with him, like water balloon fight. One time, uh, my mom caught me in the middle of like grabbing the condom and I squished it so hard it like shoot up to the ceiling and it came on my face. <laughs> okay guys, this is gonna get a little bit more intense. I'm so embarrassed to tell you this, especially you guys, my coworkers. Um, even though I grew up with super religious grandparents, my sexuality got awakened at a very young age, um, five years old to be exact. Um, I was driving to the supermarket with my grandparents and um, I don't know if we were going to a birthday or we came back for a birthday or my mom borrowed the car, but there was pink balloons in the car. All of a sudden, my grandpa hit the brakes and I fell in the back of the car on top of the balloon. We don't wear seatbelts in Puerto Rico. <laughs> Man, that felt so good. <laughs> so fucking good. We were about to like get to the supermarket and I told my grandpa, Abuelito, um, can you drive a little bit longer? Like it's so hot in Puerto Rico, it's so humid. Dude, that was a gift, a gift from heaven. I grinded inconspicuously the shit out of that pink balloon. I may or may not have blacked out after that, but. A couple of years went by and um, I may or may not have made my pink heart pillow my best friend until I met the Theragun. You guys know what a Theragun is? It's a massaging gun, a multi-pulsating, multi-vibration, multi-sensation Theragun. I would hide in my grandparents' house watching telenovelas, doing the deed for hours. <laughs> One time, my grandma walked in, and I was in the middle of like getting to Utopia, shaking and drooling, ugh. and all of a sudden, it was in a scene in a telenovela where Mauricio got got caught cheating on Maria with Esperanza. Listen up. So listen, like she walks in, and all you can hear was like, Mauricio, te cogí, estás haciendo mi infiel con Esperanza. Then called back to my abuela, Lorena, que estás haciendo con esa máquina. Then called back to the telenovela. Mauricio, te cogiste en pelota. <laughs> Called back to me, abuelita, my leg hurts over here. It's from playing volleyball. <laughs> I would fantasize about my Theragun while <laughs> I was in school. <laughs> I will remember being in Puerto Rican history class talking about indigenous people wearing loincloths, and all I can think of was getting home to my baby, my baby Thera, Theragon. I would write on my notebook, Lorena plus Thera forever XOXO hashtag YOLO. <laughs> One time, um, I came to my grandparents' house and I, my grandma started hiding it. She was on to me. She knew. 
And um, it was like I needed my fix. I was shaking. I'm like, I want it there. I need it there. I can't live without there. My abuelita was like, hey, Lorena, you have to go see a doctor. That chronic pain is not normal. <laughs> so I just had a baby 19 months ago. <laughs> I feel like yesterday when I didn't want to have a baby. Oh, I love motherhood, minus the baby. <laughs> I suffered from postpartum depression, and it came with suicidal ideation. Um, I would fantasize about going onto the 405, but then I remember it was bumper to bumper traffic. Nothing would happen. I'll be like, excuse me, sir, can I walk around your Kia and then <laughs> floor it? It's all good now, like I'm actually feeling a little bit better. Um, I found the remedy. Um, it's not prescriptions, it's not TMS. It's actually called the Theragun. <laughs> we actually rekindle it recently and instead of, <laughs> instead of being a family of three, now we're a family of four and uh, my husband is okay with it. So that's my time, thank you so much and have a good night.